This is Wide Sargasso Sea by Jean Rees. Wide Sargasso Sea is often described as a prequel to uh, a Jane Eyre, and in some ways it, it definitely is, but in other ways it's very much a, a, not a self-contained novel in, in its own right, so one doesn't need to have, have read uh, Jane Eyre to, to enjoy it or appreciate it. Um, it's set uh, just after the uh, emancipation of the slaves in, uh, in the Caribbean, um, and it's uh, and the main character in the book is, is Antoinette, and uh, the, the the book is uh, structured in in three parts. The first part of the book concerns Antoinette's childhood on an estate that was formerly a plantation. And Antoinette is Creole, so she's only ever lived in the Caribbean. Um, and this first part describes her difficult relationship with her mother um, and her unsettled sense of where she belongs. Um, the, the, the emancipated slaves, uh, one of the little girls she used to play with, they've grown up with, um, now doesn't obviously want to kind of uh, be, be her friend. So she's, she's quite isolated and... The island is restive and, and in fact, uh, one of the British English characters has her house burned down, Antoinette's mother. Um, so the scene is set about a, a, an unsettled uh, community. Part two, uh, Antoinette is then grown up and is married to an Englishman, Mr Rochester, who's come out to the Caribbean uh, to seek his fortune, but... Uh, there's no easy wealth anymore after the end of slavery, so he's unsuccessful and, and unhappy. And this, um, the, the marriage between Antoinette and Mr Rochester is told uh, uh, from alternate, their alternating points of view. And it involves, again, Antoinette trying to find um, uh, an ally in her servant or, or whatever, um, and about this disintegrating marriage in which uh, Mr Rochester has decided that, she, that she's mad and, um, and, and is trying to uh, contain her and control her, uh, using, using this as a pretext. And then part three, the shorter part, is set later in Thornfield Hall, and this is the, now the overlap with Jane Eyre becomes clear, because um, Antoinette, who's been renamed Bertha by her husband, is incarcerated in the attic um, and is uh, plotting her escape or her revenge um, and and that's how the book ends with them um, with a with a likely uh, with the likely outcome that we, we know about if we read Jane Eyre so that's that's the structure of the book it's it's got a lot of themes in, in, in this book that there's a lot about class there's a lot about money uh, and then slavery and, and the Caribbean um, and uh, about obviously colonialism and post-colonialism and, and, and the kind of effects on the society uh, that try to form after that. So there's quite a lot of insight about marriage um, and, and the question of madness and the nature of madness and the causes of madness. Uh, our approach there so it's a very rich book in lots of ways and it's also rich as a as a as a sensuous book the sounds and the smells um they're beautifully evoked you're there and you're experiencing it it's a very beautifully uh, evoked uh, landscape and period and setting she she does incredibly well Jean Rhys as a writer in this respect I think but as well as this book being a, being a great book it's got a fantastic backstory. Jean Rhys was um, uh, published novels in the nineteen forties uh, to, to moderate, reasonable success, um, but then nobody had heard of her for ages, and it was just kind of assumed that, that she died and, and been forgotten about. And Diane Athill tracked her down, and Jane Rhys, Jean Rhys, sorry, was very much alive, and she was living in uh, Devon as a recluse uh, and also as an alcoholic. And uh, Diane Athill found her and went to see her and, and found out about or heard about the fact that this uh, novel existed in, well, it existed, but it was all stashed in uh, supermarket bags under Jean Reese's bed. 
and Diane Attill had to get all these papers, which were in no particular order, and then try to enlist uh, Jean Reese's help in sorting out which bits were intended for the book, in what order they went, and to, and to refashion the book. So she was very much um, party to, to, to creating this novel, which was then published in 1966. And uh, it's a widely regarded uh, classic book. So I, I really recommend it. It, it. I think it's very, very good.